righteous person who always speaks excellent things. So turn to your neighbor, turn to the one sitting beside you and begin to tell him or her something excellent. Sometimes people don't know how to speak excellent things. But tomorrow, this morning, make sure you speak excellent things. Tell him or her. May you have a positive thinking. May you have the mind of Christ. And the years today, you are a prosperous personality. Oh, hallelujah! Let the whole church make a joyful noise to the Lord. The Lord has been so good to Christ Apostolic Church. For the Lord has been so good to you as individuals. Since we came here, the Lord has been so gracious to us. But God brought you here for a purpose. And so we started the whole program with a powerful topic entitled the danger of carnality. For the Bible says, carnality is death. The next morning, we talk about the power of mind. Then we also talk about how you can make the stronghold vulnerable. Hello. So we've been talking about my, 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 and through that we've been able to know Sakomoto domain. Think we trust about your mind. And what carnality can do to us? And so if you are able to change that mentality, you begin to receive the abilities of God. And something better, something good begin to happen in your life. We talk about the spiritual mind. How important it is. And if you have that power of the Holy Spirit, it moves you to witness. And when you are able to witness the whole world, when there is attack, when there is a problem, when Satan orchestrates against you, the spirit will raise a standard against whatever they try. And also we talk we also talk about how you can establish make a covenant with God. And yesterday night we had a something powerful how you can exploit time and chances now and run the battle exploiting simply means to take advantage in other words you're supposed to be at your work you're supposed to be at your area but why are you here is it not for a cause you are here for a cause and you must exploit this time don't joke with anybody and take up your good place as so this morning 
I believe that I am speaking to those who have spiritual mentality. And so I am speaking on a topic succeeding with the mindset of Christ. Every individual here is so anxious about having success. Everyone wants to succeed. Even as a matter of fact, that is the reason why you came here. You want to succeed. But I am here to announce to you because you have the mentality of Christ, you are more than a conqueror, and you are going to experience what we call the true success. Now, I the whole story camp talks about the church of Corinth. It's a church that was endowed with spiritual gifts. A church that was endowed with intellectuals. But they were operating the spiritual gift with the carnal mind. And there came a time. The Quran church began to talk among themselves that why do we have more spiritual gifts? We have more intellectuals, but our church is not growing. Current church can pray and it's a prayerful church, but we are not growing. Individuals are not getting what we call the true success. What is wrong with us? When they were contemplating on these issues, Paul came to them. Paul And that is why he wrote 2 Corinthians chapter 2. And then he reads uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6 going. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature. Yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. But we, stu- we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. He had they, for had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared to those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit, for the spirit searches all things. Now, so you can answer one sandwich that one are when you move from. And you